Hi everyone, I'm Gina for Genealogy Bank. The 1920s, the Roaring Twenties. What were your ancestors' lives like during that decade? They had just come out of a great war and a pandemic. What was the 1920s like for them? What was it like for them in that time and place? Historical newspapers can provide you that information and help you better understand their lives so that you can add to their names, dates, and places in your genealogy something about what life was like during the 1920s. Let's go to the website and let's get some examples of the 1920s in newspapers. The Roaring Twenties is often portrayed as a time of flappers and parties, but not everyone was kicking up their heels. Though the 18th Amendment prohibition was ratified in 1919, it went into effect in the first month of 1920. This was considered a victory for some, but not all. Was your ancestor a teetotaler or were they heading to the local speakeasy for a drink? Maybe they were even manufacturing their own libations, and you might find that in the newspaper as well. The other amendment that affected our ancestors' lives in the 1920s was the 19th Amendment, which passed in 1920, giving women the right to vote. And the first presidential election they would have voted in is 1921, with the winner being Warren G. Harding. Now, don't assume that your female ancestor voted just because the 19th Amendment passed. She may not have believed in women's suffrage. Now, you probably aren't going to find newspapers that tell about her voting, like this one that talks about Margaret Newberg, who is said to have been the first woman to vote in the U.S. under the provisions of the 19th Amendment. Whether that is true or not, this is a great write-up for someone who is descended from her. Instead, make sure that you do an overall search for words like women's suffrage or the 19th Amendment, and then narrow your search by the state and even the newspaper that would have served the area that your female ancestor lived in. That will give you some information about what voting was like in her area. Do you ever wonder what similar experiences your ancestors had to what you're experiencing today? In 1928, a 27-year-old commercial artist who had an interest in animation created a character he called Mortimer Mouse. That mouse's name and look would change and it would evolve to become Mickey Mouse. In November, Mickey would star in his first cartoon, Steamboat Willie which would feature Walt Disney as the voice of Mickey Mouse. Your ancestors' entertainment pages in the newspaper can be a great way to learn what was uh, available in the movies and on the radio for your ancestors' entertainment. The 1920s ends with an event that affected so many of our families' lives, the stock market crash of 1929, which then continued into the 30s and was the Great Depression. Now, not every family would have been impacted by this crash. In fact, if your family was already living in poverty, they may not have noticed the difference. But for others, this may have had a major effect on their lives, their livelihood, and it may have meant them uprooting their families and moving uh, to another state or another place for work. Now, we can research our family's financial lives uh, with genealogical records like tax records or court records, but don't forget to add the historical newspapers of the times of the 1920s, 1929, and into the 1930s so that you can better help your family understand their family history. What was your family's life like during the 1920s? 
whether they were dancing to jazz and speakeasies or feeling the effects of the financial crash. Historical newspapers provide us that context for better understanding our ancestors' lives. So look to historical newspapers to provide you that information to tell your ancestor's story. See you next time.